Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Today is Saturday, day of the fight, July the 14th, 2018. Let's talk about Manny Pacquiao against Lucas Matisse. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me just say, folks, I'm tired of hearing people say Manny Pacquiao is old. That Manny Pacquiao is yesterday's news. Folks, he's fighting a 35-year-old here. A 35-year-old who's getting all this love and all this publicity after winning over untested Tiwa Kiro in his last fight. Folks, that's what's gotten Lucas Matisse all of this public love, right? Let's remember, this is a guy who gets stopped, stopped by Victor Postal. He's fighting a fast lefty here. Pacquiao still has the hand speed. Pacquiao still has the foot speed, right? By the way, speaking of foot speed, Matisse doesn't have the foot speed that Jeff Horn had. By the way, unlike Jeff Horn, Matisse is not fighting this fight in his backyard. This fight's going to be in Malaysia. Right? Also, Matisse fought a slick moving southpaw in the past, Devin Alexander. Now, granted, Matisse had his moments, but Matisse lost that fight. He couldn't catch up to Alexander. The angles were too foreign to him. You add it all up, and I'm expecting Manny Pacquiao to blow out Lucas Matisse. I'm surprised you're getting Pacquiao at these odds. I'm seeing Pacquiao at a, at a minus 200. Right, folks? A minus 200 is too low because that means that Matisse would win one out of three. I don't see that happening. Right? The bet I like here is Manny Pacquiao to win the fight. That's what I'm expecting. I'll hedge the play with Matisse by KO. Matisse's only chance of winning this fight, his only chance, is to catch, drop, and stop Manny Pacquiao. Let me point out, too, the guy who Matisse just beat isn't as good as Jeff Horn. Manny Pacquiao's been fighting, quite frankly, the tougher opposition than Lucas Matisse. Let's also talk about that Jeff Horn fight. I know people are saying, whoa, Pacquiao, how could you lose to Jeff Horn? Right now, understand, I thought the fight could have gone either way, but there are people in boxing, well-known people. Teddy Atlas comes to mind, who was there at the fight and who thought, quite frankly, Manny Pacquiao got robbed. Well, let's look more closely at that fight. During the fight, the referee saw a guy getting beaten up went over to the guy's corner and said, look, you know, if you don't show me something this round, I'm going to stop the fight. The corner he went to wasn't Pacquiao's corner. It was Jeff Horn's corner. Let me also say this too. You might notice that I'm bald. You might notice that I have some gray, right? A little sprinkling of gray. I'm an OG. I'm an older person, right? My bias skews toward older fighters, I'll just put it to you this way. Manny Pacquiao is in yesterday's news. Manny Pacquiao, in my opinion, is this close to taking over the welterweight division. Who at welterweight today? And I'm talking about this young generation. Who at welterweight matches Manny Pacquiao's hand speed? No, not Errol Spence. No, not Danny Garcia. No, not Keith Thurman. Folks, I'm just telling you that if Manny Pacquiao wins this fight, given that Manny Pacquiao is guaranteed box office, I take my chances betting on Manny Pacquiao against an Errol Spence. Let's just say this. Terrence Crawford is younger, is fresher, is a future Hall of Famer, no question about it. Terrence Crawford is among the best in the sport pound for pound. But understand, slower technicians, slower versus Manny Pacquiao, could have a problem against Manny Pacquiao. Certainly, Terrence Crawford's not going to have time 
to be switching from righty to lefty. Right? Now, let me just say, don't underestimate or be fooled by the brilliance of Floyd Mayweather. You see Mayweather control and beat Manny Pacquiao. I think it's a mistake to then say, oh, because Mayweather did it, these other guys can do it. I just told you I consider Terrence Crawford to be a future Hall of Famer. That doesn't mean Crawford can do everything Mayweather can do. Understand, Mayweather was a freak athlete. That left hook of Mayweather's is a hair trigger left hook. Look at the Diego Corrales fight. Right? Mayweather had faster hands than most people. Right? Mayweather, quite frankly, as an athlete, is vastly superior. We saw it in the ring to guys like Saul Alvarez. In other words, Mayweather as an athlete, just as an athlete, was faster than Terrence Crawford is today. Right? One man's opinion. You're watching his video. Right? So, the fact that Mayweather beat Pacquiao doesn't tell me that Tom, Dick, and Harry, or put differently, Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, or Keith Thurman are going to beat Pacquiao. Right? To get there, Pacquiao has to win this one. To get there, Pacquiao has to make sure he doesn't make the mistake Devin Alexander made of getting too close to Matisse, getting hit, then having to recover to win the fight. Right? Pacquiao just needs to remember that he still today has some of the fastest hands and some of the fastest feet in the sport of boxing. Understand, life's unfair. Some people are freak athletes. Manny Pacquiao, who plays basketball when he's not in the ring. Manny Pacquiao is that rare guy who is a freak athlete. Not everyone is. Right? Freddie Roach. And by the way, if you're a boxing manager or a promoter, now is the time to call up the wild card gym and say, Hey, Freddie, I heard you split from Manny. I have a young fighter here who could benefit from having a multi-trainer of the year train him. Right? If you're in the boxing game and you want to impress your investors, let's face it, a lot of these guys have investors, don't they? You want to impress your investors. You want to impress your fighter. Now is the time to approach Freddie Roach. Don't wait until he gets the next Pacquiao, the next Cotto. <laughs> right? You want to hop in the water right now with Freddie. But anyway, I digress. Freddie Roach, who split from Pacquiao, and that is a risk. Hey, I love my friends, but if I'm a fighter, I'm not sure if I'd have any of my friends serve as my trainer. Right? Pacquiao right now has a buddy serving as his trainer. It is a cause for concern. If the gap in hand speed wasn't this wide, I'd be concerned. In any event, you may have read some articles where Freddie Roach has said, hey, you know, Pacquiao's shoulder is still bothering him, right? Pacquiao, you know, didn't follow the rehab advice. He prayed a lot. He put ocean water on it. That shoulder is still a problem, right? Folks, Pacquiao's a southpaw. His big hand is his left hand, isn't it? I understand the bad shoulder is his right shoulder. I'll take my chances. <laughs> Keep in mind, too, if Freddie Roach is to be believed, then with one shoulder, with one shoulder, Manny Pacquiao had Jeff Horn in such trouble that the referee said to Jeff Horn, you got to do something, son, or I'm going to stop the fight. I don't think Manny Pacquiao needs two shoulders to beat Lucas Matisse. The bet I like here is Manny Pacquiao. Right? Minus 200 for Manny Pacquiao against a guy who just beat Tua Kira. Before that, Emmanuel Taylor. <laughs> Thank you for these odds, odds maker. I'll take Manny Pacquiao simply to win the fight. I'll hedge the play with Matisse by KO. 
right now if Matisse comes in and starts outboxing Manny Pacquiao which I just don't see happening then you'll know I'm wrong about this fight I don't expect the fight to be close folks I'm expecting Manny Pacquiao to outbox Lucas Matisse I'm expecting Matisse to look like an old 35 year old in against a freak athlete who might be older right is older but who's a freak athlete right think Bo Jackson think young Roy Jones right with freak athletes we need different rules let me say this too I'll agree you've heard me here online say Manny Pacquiao was predominantly a one-handed fighter now that would matter against a Floyd Mayweather he's not fighting Floyd here he just isn't right I think Pacquiao is a guy who still is highly relevant in the sport of boxing I like Manny Pacquiao in this fight I'll even go further right I'll tell you what Manny Pacquiao against Errol Spence the Errol Spence who I just saw struggling in his last fight get hit with several body punches in his last fight Manny Pacquiao against Errol Spence I'll take my chances Manny Pacquiao against Terrence Crawford hey I'll be the casinos Huckleberry because I'm sure Crawford's gonna go off as a big favorite in that fight how do I know because in this fight against Lucas Matisse Pacquiao is only a minus 200 right Pacquiao did split from his trainer Pacquiao does have a day job he is a member of government in the Philippines all of that is true Manny Pacquiao still Manny Pacquiao to me against opposition like this right let's remember folks Lucas Matisse lost to Danny Garcia right when they say oh he's a reigning champ and stuff like that you need to ask yourself well who did he beat for the belt right to Akira not a household name in the division right who did he beat for the belt has he avenged the losses that he suffered right I haven't seen Matisse in the ring against Danny Garcia since Garcia beat him I saw Josh Taylor step up and fight Victor Postal I didn't see Lucas Matisse fighting Victor Postal you remember when they told us if we're gonna talk about injuries if we're gonna talk about Manny Pacquiao's off shoulder you remember when they told us that Lucas Matisse had eye problems right now it's only in boxing that you hear right that a guy has an eye problem think Babu Chuminoff who recently picked up another title guy has eye problems on Monday and says hey that's it for me I'm walking away from the sport and then by the time Wednesday rolls around somehow a boxing commission has cleared him and he's fighting for a title right that's the way boxing goes right this wouldn't pass the smell test in med school it passes the smell test in boxing what about Matisse's vision how good is it everyone's focused on Manny's shoulder injury what about Matisse's eye injury Google it right so if you're gonna be one of those people who says Manny's too old Manny lost to Jeff Horn right just finished the paragraph Matisse's 35 Matisse lost to Victor Postal and to Danny Garcia Manny has shoulder concerns Matisse has eye concerns Manny has hand speed and foot speed and better, better athleticism than does Matisse I like Manny here I'll hedge the play with Matisse by KO I'm expecting Pacquiao to be Manny Pacquiao and if he is after this fight sky's the limit Manny Pacquiao can declare war on the welterweight division quite frankly Manny Pacquiao to me is a better opponent for Mikey Garcia than Easter the unbeaten guy who Garcia is gonna fight next in other words you got a clash of generations here with Manny Pacquiao I think the old guard is still holding its own that's how I see it let me hear from you I hope you leave your comments 
in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.